everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be testing out the Dollar Tree vinyl. Recently I have started using my Cricut to cut vinyl and apply it to different things. I made some shirts, those kinds of things. So whenever I seen that the Dollar Tree had vinyl, I knew I wanted to test some out. So I went and I just picked up this basic black permanent vinyl. Now the great thing about this, it comes in 12 inches by 48. So this is quite a large piece of vinyl and it comes in a lot of different colors. You have your standard black and white, of course. They are all shiny as far as I can tell. And each one, of course, is going to cost $1.25. So here's what that roll looks like. It comes in a nice little box and you've got this great big long roll. Now, there are some good things about that and some bad things. It does kind of warp on you as you're kind of pulling it out because it is rolled up in the package. Whenever I unrolled it, it did have some creasing in it. That's okay, it's $1.25, it'll be fine. But to give this a really good test, I'm going to put this on one of my most used things that I own, and that is my AirPods. So I am going to be labeling them mom because I'm mom in my house. So I've got my AirPods case here ready to go. I've created a little mom cut file in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to cut this out with my Cricut. I wanted to be sure that when I tested this, I gave this a really good test. So I will say with my AirPods, they're one of the things that I use most often. As I sit here right now, they are in my pocket. They are in and out of my pocket all day long. I literally use them every day. They're beside my bed at night. I listen to audiobooks. I listen to podcasts. They are constantly being opened, handled. It is constant. They are one of my most used tools that I own. So that is why I chose to put my design on my AirPods. I knew I would be handling it a lot. It's not something that's just gonna get set down and not ever touched again. Nope, in and out of my pocket, in and out of my purse all day long. So this really got tested pretty well. So I know this is going to be a smaller area, so I just cut out the size I needed of the vinyl using scissors, and I'm putting it on my Cricut mat to cut. I used a little bit of masking tape to hold this down into position. I do this each and every time I cut vinyl, not just specifically this one. Vinyl is precious. I am not going to allow it to move. Cardstock, I can kind of, I mean, if it moves, it moves. It's cardstock, right? Vinyl is more expensive. I don't want it to move. So as I put this in, I'm going to set this up to cut, and I have this on premium vinyl setting and just the default pressure. If you find that's not enough pressure, do a little bit more. If you need less, go to less pressure. And then I am just going to cut it out. I wanted to use the default cut settings that I use for the majority of the vinyl that I cut, um, and that's worked out really well. One thing I will say about this vinyl, it comes off of that backing paper very easily. So as I started weeding it, I did pull up that O. I mean, of course, you want it to release from the backing paper, but maybe not this easily. So I just stuck that right back into place and then I'll continue weeding around that. And once I found that it did move around quite a bit, I decided to go ahead and get this off the cutting mat and cut away a lot of that excess. That's going to make this a little bit easier of a process and hopefully not pull up those areas that I don't want it to. So as you use your vinyl, just realize that this vinyl or the black one specifically does pull away from that backing paper very, very easily. To help counterbalance that, I just use my scraping tool and kind of burnish that down. That's going to keep it in place a little bit better as I continue to weed out all the leftover bits. And like I said, I will trim away the excess. That's going to, again, help keep everything in place. So now I'm left with just this small little area that I need to weed away. The great thing about this, it weeds very, very easily. You just need to make sure that what you're not weeding out stays attached to that backing paper. But I found this with some of the higher end vinyl as well. Sometimes it just doesn't want to stay stuck down. 
but it cut really beautifully, even those really fine lines. I wanted to make sure I had some thicker lines. I had some thinner lines. That's why I chose this font. Um, it all cut really beautifully. No need to recut. The default settings that I use with my other vinyl, they worked great. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of transfer tape, burnish this down with my little rubbing tool or scraper and peel this off the backing paper and no issue there at all. It came right off, stuck to the transfer paper. It's ready to be put onto my AirPod case. So to make sure that I got as good of a bond as I could, I'm going to clean my case really well. And once I clean it, I do want to make sure that I'm not touching it, adding any oils from my fingers or anything like that onto the surface. I wanted to give this a really good test. So to clean this off, I am using 91% isopropyl alcohol on a microfiber cloth. I'm going to really give that surface a good rub. Make sure I am taking any and all surface grime, any oils from my fingers, all of that I am taking off the case. I also wanted to make sure that I used a microfiber cloth so I'm not leaving behind any lint or anything like that. Now, in just a minute, you'll see I touched it. I wanted to see if it was dry, if that shine was just my case, or if it was alcohol that was still wet. So I did touch it, but I came right back in and re-cleaned it. So again, as you're cleaning this or as you're cleaning any surface, just make sure that it's completely dry before you try to put this down. And also make sure you're cleaning the surface before you put your vinyl down. You want to make sure you don't have any residue, any lint, any oils, anything like that on there. You want to give your vinyl as good a chance as ever to stick down to your surface. So I touched it to make sure it was dry and not just make sure that the shine was dry shine and not alcohol shine. So I touched it. I went ahead and recleaned it, let it re-dry. I air dried it. And then I am going to attach my vinyl. I'm just lining this up and sticking my transfer tape down. And then I will use my burnishing slash scraping tool and just really get that pressed down well. And I want to make sure that as I pull up my transfer tape, it's not pulling up those letters with it. I want to make sure these are really good and stuck onto that case. Like I said, I want a really fair trial. And this is really cheap vinyl. If this works great, that's great. So I want to give this a really great chance of working. So I'll go ahead and lift up that transfer tape. It's stuck down beautifully. There were a few pieces where I felt like I just needed a little bit more pressure to get them good and stuck. So I went ahead and used my scraping tool for that. And that is it. This cut beautifully. It applied beautifully. It looks really nice. Now, here's the thing. I love the way it applied. I love the way it cut, like I said. Then I decided I'm going to put this through the ringer with these AirPods. And we're going to go six weeks from now. So here's the before. And keep in mind, as I'm about to show you the after, how much these are handled. They are in and out of my pocket. They are in and out of my purse, my cup holder. They are dropped constantly. These things are handled so much every single day. There's never a day that these aren't touched and used and moved around. So here we are at six weeks time. All in all, knowing that about myself and how careless I truly am, this worked out really well. This is all the damage there was. I had some movement on that final M. I also had a little bit of lifting where it starts to curve down um, on some of those bottom pieces, especially that first M, some of those larger chunks. And I'm a picker. So once it started coming up, I have a tendency to like pick. So that is on me. It's a lot worse than what it truly could have been if I just would have left it alone. That M, I didn't really mess with. Just that very thin part of that final M didn't have a great hold. So it is moving around. I did end up losing it a few days after this, that section right there. Um, the rest of the M is still there. But all in all, I think this is great for the price. 
it handled and held up honestly better than I could have ever imagined that it did. And for the price, you cannot beat it. So for something like this, if I want to take this off and redo it, it's fine. It's not going to cost me an arm and a leg to do it and redo it every couple of months. And if I used a bulkier sort of font, I think it would hold up even better. But again, I wanted to give this a true test. Worked out beautifully for me. I hope it does for you as well. The one thing I will say about this is the Dollar Tree does carry this. Sometimes it depends on the Dollar Tree you're at what they will have if they'll even have it so you might have to do a little hunting for it as well but all in all great product i'm super happy with it and i love the way that this turned out i'm happy to keep using it that's going to do it for me today thank you guys so much for watching happy crafting